ladies and gents and welcome back to another three things I'll video on the channel. Um it's obviously the first defeat. Uh or it's the second defeat of the season. Um and the first defeat over from defeat for Ange and also the team you know the first half. I mean I am getting into discussing it of course guys, but you know, recent supporting channel's been great. We're at point one thousand ninety subsidy, so it was great as well. Um yeah, subscribe and like and follow do all again. I mean the first half, I mean before I get any points in the video. Um, we we looked brilliant. I mean, we didn't. I see, but you know what? We looked good in a game. We were kind of equal to Rangers in that chance. I mean, I'd, I'd Christ now. I, I mean, Lewis. You know, you know him on the channel. He could have finished that, and that's Lewis better than Edward. Edward up until that chance, he looked like he was a quality player. Then up until after that chance, he just looked hopeless to be honest with you. And it, it was weird because then you know last kind of five minute five ten minutes of the game, you know, Ange takes off uh, Edward, switches it about and puts Furashi through the middle. He's causing havoc, absolute havoc, and he's as brilliant. He had two chances. I mean, um, the first chance, should have squared it to Christie, and then that makes him his mind head up saying, "No, he should square it next time." And he, he should have just shot it and he squared it to nobody. I mean, at the end of the day, you lose. But I mean. I mean, you hear it from a couple of our podcasts, the reaction to the games today. It's a better off, you know. It's not the way we, we lost last season, where we're just uh, we're still, you know, you're still, you're still unhappy. You lost an old firm, but at least, you know, you can you can challenge Rangers. There's no doubt about that. You can challenge Rangers, but you need depth and you need quality players on the bench. I mean, you look at the Rangers bench today, quality. Just bring quality for quality. They, they take off quality player for quality player. They, you know, they don't downsize when they put a player on. I mean, you look at the bench today for Celtic. You know, a st st sorry, Montgomery, he played excellent when he came on. But, you know, he's a youngster. Rodgick on the bench. Sorrow. I mean, Bain, B uh, Beaton, Ayeti. They're just... Mu I mean, you look at again today and they don't turn up. Christie and Edward. I mean, Edward, aside from that chance, he didn't turn up at all. I mean, he touched was like a bloody elephant. Like a nine pen. I mean, he wasn't worth bloody nine pence, to be honest with you. I'd be surprised. If Crystal Palace get him, take him away. I mean, it's we've got rot in our team. It's Edward Christie doesn't show up in big games. I mean, you can look throughout the team, but it was mostly Edward and Christie want to go the rot in the team. It's like an apple, right? It's Celtic's team. There's wee rots throughout the apple, and that's Edward and Christie. It's just our players in the team. I mean, the Yeti as well. He's just standing there, wages Griffiths on wages. He will not get played. I mean, um, you just look at it for instance. I mean, Ralston playing out his skin in the first half. Maybe not overall the second half. But the first half, he was absolutely excellent. Uh, I'm making points throughout the video, guys, because, you know, the first Glasgow derby of the season ends in a feat after a poor, poor second half. Yeah, it was a very poor second half. Hugo through the middle and nowhere else. I mean, I mean, at least we have a manager who says he made a mistake in the game, saying, you know, maybe I, sh I, sh I should have put Kyogo from the start through the middle. And I like that about a manager. I mean, like Neil last season would have been blaming on the players, you never mind the body. You know, he's, he took responsibility. We all like that about a manager. I mean, after a year of learning, I mean, thank God we've got a bit of freshness in there. I mean, I'm I'm not happy that we lost the Rangers. Nobody likes to lose the Rangers, but you're not 20 points behind Rangers as you were last season. You're three points behind them, right? Um, you just need to get the back in the swing. You're going to international break. It's going to be tough, right? It's not. It's not going to be easy, right? There's, it's not going to be easy. Game. No such game is easy. I mean, you look at the fixtures. I mean, you've got Ross County home. You should be. No good, good performance at home. Back at the hand fans again. Give him a good, you know, give him a nice wee boost again. And he got a very tough away game to Livingston. I mean, that's. I mean, you might be talking. I mean, I mean, every away game. I mean, I Livingston are allowing away fans. That's good. But the fact that you know, um, Rangers aren't allowing away fans. That that's what makes an old firm derby. And you could say different reasons or COVID and all that stuff. But you know what Celtic should do. Don't give Rangers one ticket for the, the old firm back in what, what, January the second or something. Don't give Rangers one ticket. Never give Celtic fans the away tickets for today's game. So why should we? And that's the point I would like to make because that's what makes an old firm. Sorry about that. Just had to do something there. Um, I lost at Ibrox. I mean, no sense of urgency in the second half. And especially once again, lo lo lost cause and set a set piece again. I mean, we spoke about all last season. The set pieces were... were oh my God. I, I, it just gave me nightmares, flashbacks, and today just sent me on. I feel so. I mean, I feel, you know, you feel sorry if players are actually trying. I mean, I mean, you know, you're trying to get, and I mean, I, you've got to trust the process. You got, I mean, because you got, you got to say, oh, Rangers are in a four-year kind of transition, um, 
Oh well, on to the next one, as some people say. But oh, let's, let's see a couple of things. So Chris Sutton, I'll mark that. Good game, very even, I thought. Um, Celtic was a better team in the first half. Rangers responded very well in the second half. Set piece goal won it, but the Celtic players will rule this one as they didn't take their chances. I mean, Edward Gillick was one of them. Kyogo missed one. Awful feeling losing these games, but all things being equal. Positive signs on the ranch. There's no doubt about that. I mean, last season you're getting hammered 4 1, such and such. It wasn't a hammer in today, it was 1 0. And you could have won the game yourself. Um, but the title of the video is the same. New season, same old, same old story. Got to say though, we played very well. I'm going to get into the game. We played very well in the first half, but tactically we should have played cool goal through the middle. Uh, second half, never in it. Only one team wanted to win it. Our best play was the last five minutes. Very unlucky not to score. You can see the improvement in the team. I believe this team will be challenging coming into the season. There's no doubt about that. Um, some people may say keep the faith. There's no doubt about will challenge it. Again, but you got to say major moments in the game cost us. Different game if this chance goes in. Edward, was talk I'm talking about. But let's take some, let's get some positives in the game. Let's get some more positives. Edward started through in the middle for 78 to 75 minutes and we created nothing other than the sitter he missed created by Kyogo Kyogo played through the middle for the 15 minutes and we've created two brilliant chances which unfortunately didn't take unfortunately didn't take but it further enforces the fact that Kyogo has to play through the middle mostly every game if he can play you have to play him through the middle there's no doubt about that I mean some games you have to bring Eddie on to settle the game down like you did on Thursday night what I thought today Maybe a good idea bringing Edward on. I was thinking, you know, I was saying it throughout the week. You know, maybe a good idea, but in the end, it wasn't. I mean, you got to make your state with Sel, and Ange admitted that, which is really good. Um, in himself. But interesting point I thought was Christie's furious reaction to Kyogo not squaring it for an open net. Obviously, I was talking about it earlier. The not this not not going to affect that Kyogo squaring it to nobody instead of shooting. Interesting to see interactions affecting play, and it was disappointing, really. Um. Obviously today Celtic were the better better than Rangers from basically minute one to minute ninety and if we had taken our chances we easily part them aside. Um am I saying it's good enough to play better and lose? Absolutely not. All I'm saying, man, right? all I'm saying. Is even a month ago we were dreading this fixture. However, we came in with belief, improvement is coming. You gotta trust the process, you got it. You know, you know you you gotta say poor second half, you need more signings, but you gotta trust the big man. 100% and no very action needed in terms of what it means for the rest of the season. You're three points by Rangers, you're sitting decently, get the signs in the door, you've got a couple of days left of the chance. You're, you're not buying tomorrow morning if Edward and Christie went out the door. Just get him out the door because yeah, they're rotting the team, they're absolutely they're just, they're, they're, You've seen it in the game where there was great chances, Kyogo's ball, a couple of there was, Kyogo was trying to get an Edward, Christie was absolutely rank rotten. I mean, he didn't just turn up. He turns up against Dundee, St. Mirren, not be. You got to have a player. It turns out gate against them, but you got to have one that turns up in the big games as well. And sadly, it doesn't. He really doesn't. I mean, somebody say it's time for more. on. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Wouldn't be uh, surprised if he moves on. His name's Edward. Get this Georgius guy in. He's in Paris. I think he done his medical day. Hopefully that's all done. And apparently it is to be done by Tuesday. And the other guys to be in as well. I'm not too sure yet, but I'll, I think. It'll, a bit over reaction both sides to be honest with you, uh, as I was talking about reactions. So the fans think it's a disaster. I was mindset in my brain saying it's you know it's getting to that um point again the season, you know. But I thought it through again. It's not. Rangers think Rangers thinking it's amazing. Fair play, you know, they won the game, they won the old firm. But really, it's a coin toss game to be honest with you. You know, it was equal game, potentially it was a draw, it was an even game, could have been a draw. If the goal doesn't go in for um, Hollander for Rangers, it's a draw either way. Kyogo scores, Edward scores that tap in. You never know what would happen in the game. This game doesn't define the season, not even close to be honest with you. There's still loads of games to play, plus three guys go Derby still to come. I thought we played well today, a really good first half and not so great second half, but the defence was solid. I didn't think either team deserved to lose, to be honest, uh, as it it was a very even game, disappointing, but not the end of the world. So, I don't care, I don't care, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I, don't, I do care, but to be honest with you, start the season, Zan's put it right in, was it Friday's <coughs> pre <coughs> voice, guys? Friday's press press conference. It's August. Now, if this was down the line this season, and Celtic lost, and it made a big, big difference this season, 
yeah, i would be different. I'd be speaking totally different. But the fact is, August, 29th August, transfer deadline, 34, 31st August is Tuesday. You're going to find out tomorrow who's going to be in. You're staying in and staying out, going out the door. You're going to have some couple more players in, the likes of um, George is the striker coming, it looks great. Um, and also, uh, this guy on loan, the left winger. Hopefully, we get him done. Um, so we'll find out that you know that's the way it works, and I'm, I'm, you got to, you got to trust it. I mean, you know, you know, you got to, you win a lot of games playing this way, but against any decent opposition, we'll be vulnerable defensively. Um, this is John Archson. Nothing in today's game. We had our moments, so did they. They got no just in front and defend their leader very well. You got to say that. Our strength and condition coach really need to get a hold of Turnbull, by the way. All the technical ability in the world, but he looks like he's towing a caravan when he runs. I mean, you got to say that. Ralston's the only player who can hold the hide high after a brilliant, uh, brilliant performance once again. Yeah, I've got to say that. I mean, I thought a couple of players could have played well. Uh, look, it happened. There's no point in dwelling on it, right? We're a much, right, got to say, a much better side than we were last season. There's a long, long way to go. We learned from it. Reset over the international break and go again. I mean, you got to say it. We've won plenty of leagues, league titles after losing Ibrox and Andrew Ball. We trust. Um, obviously, I said Andrew Pascal and Matty should start to go up front uh, in the middle. Sorry, and it is Benfica left winger Felipe Iota is set to join Celtic in a one-year loan deal. Twenty-two-year-old Portuguese side um, option to buy after the first year fee of around six point four million, playing one hundred sixteen games. Uh, Pochi winner looks set to become Celtic's winner for a, at least a season. It looks good to see. Um, and hopefully, um, signs then and we'll find out tomorrow who's staying in and all that stuff, guys. So please subscribe and like. That's my reaction to Rangers 1 Celtic. Now, not over the, I'm not really overreacting. This is August. Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, Angie Ball, we trust. <laughs>